y'all. How's it going, y'all? So we are here with a team built by one of my viewers, uh, Jenny Quackles, <laughs> which is a great name, let's be honest. Um, this is a Calyrex Ice team with body press on Calyrex Ice. So very interesting stuff. Um, I think Giga has featured a variant of this team. Uh, Jenny said that she made a couple changes um, since, you know, since he's tried it, I guess. So we'll see what happens. She says she's doing very well, has, is ranked like 38 on the ladder right now or something, which, you know, is clearly not something I'm usually able to do. So, you know, we'll see what happens with this team. Um, she did say that it takes a little bit of practice to pilot it, but I mean, like, we're just going to kind of go for it, I guess, for, for better or worse. Um, this team does not have that many protects, so that is something to be aware of. There's Focus Sash on Indeedy. Okay, um, so we do have Indeedy for redirection for setting up Trick Room and things of that nature. So, you know, this team is going to be definitely really interesting. You don't have to worry about getting your defenses or your attack lowered by a Incineroar in order to use body press. So, I mean, it's it's definitely got some stuff going for it. Um, sorry that I didn't do a good job explaining anything right there. I'll give a breakdown of the team after I use it. How about that? We have multiple wide guard users, right? Or, or at least there's Pelipper. Yeah, there's a Raquinid and Pelipper. So we have multiple wide guards. We have Psychic Terrain to stop Fake Out. Um, so there's some good stuff. Some good stuff, you know. Oh God. Oh God. Sorry. Job, job bless. I don't need to take the Lord's name in vain. Um, so you know, big, big job bless. Um, what should I want to do here? I think is the question. I mean, Pelipper feels like a pretty solid lead, as does Araquanid. So I might just honestly start Araquanid and Pelipper. I could start Pelipper, this boy, I could start Pelipper, this boy, um, ugh. let's try that. You're jumping. Okay. Mr. Talon Flame. The flame with the talons. Let's check how fast this one is. Okay. That's good info. So, I'm just gonna wide guard and trick room. The problem with wide guarding is that we might be just letting them set up. Oh, God. They don't have priority anymore, which is the one thing that I was kind of like saying, oh, God, about. But So I'm going to say we Scald and we Shadow Bald. 
because they can't really like switch in on a shadow ball. Unless, I mean, they could try to switch in a Ranguru. So we will unfortunately lose. Yeah, we'll lose that one. But we can bring out Mr. Corona Spa. Do I want to bring out the Corona Spa right now? I mean, kinda. Yeah, let's be honest. And they probably don't because they because I have Wide Guard. Okay, they do just bring out their own Hans Boy. They do just bring out Mr. Hans. Um. Hmm. I feel like going for a burn is better than going for a not burn. They might use Trick Room. They might, like, just try to reverse my Trick Room or something crazy like that. Okay. But will you double protect? So they're gonna let me get the boots. And I'm going to say that a plus one Ice Hunts should be able to take out a Rangaroo. Because, I mean, that's what they have, right? Like, they have a Rangaroo. No, they have Main Show. Interesting. So if they call this right, um... Uh, but they might have faint. They might have the faint. Ah. Uh, this feels like my play. Okay. Okay. I'm still gonna go for the Glacial Haunts this turn. Ugh. They, 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 I should have been ready for that. That was kind of obvious. They won't get a knockout with this. I'm almost positive. Do we have... Okay. I mean, they're gonna lose. Oh, that was cool. That was pretty cool tech. Nobody's lying about that. Um. I mean, what does more, like... 
I kind of feel like we still do more with glacial haunts. Uh... Let's just see how much it does, that's how I feel. Okay, okay, yeah. King Boo, I like your name, I like your name, ooh, okay, um, this could be very rough. Especially considering all the parts of their team. I might just like start this with this and this. Or this. Or this. I don't know. Um I mean, when do you not bring your legendary? is kind of the thing, like, you pretty much always want to bring your legendary, but... Araquanid does a lot of damage to, like, their whole team. So... Uh... Let's try it. Call it a bad play. Call it what you want, but I'm gonna try it. We will try. So the biggest thing that I'm worried about right now is Zacian. Um, we do have Skelebra, Mr. Skelebra, but we also know that Mr. Skelebra pretty much just does not even Oko. There, boy. So, um, I'm gonna try this. But they should withdraw Incineroar. Like... But then again, do you want to withdraw Incineroar? I don't know if we can even KO though. So they might just use Parting Shot. I think that would be a good play. They use Flare Blitz. They have Life Orb Zacian. Oh, I didn't even realize it. They shouldn't have very good damage into Mr. Scalabra. Mr. Scalabrasco Flames.
and if we set up the trick room without like if they bring out dust cops that would be a pretty decent play i guess no they don't okay so in that case um We Leaf Blade Zacian and we Flamethrower. Ugh. That's pretty bad, honestly. Rack when it doesn't have protect, I'm gonna lose. <sighs> you know who did have protect though? Is our boy. So, yeah, this is pretty much just over. I should have protected Lorantis there, and I think I would have pretty much just guaranteed the win. You gotta recognize what's threatening, right? And if they can call what I'm gonna do, Jesus. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah, I mean, so it literally takes, like, one bad protect, like, not protecting to lose. And that's, that's basically what you guys just saw there. So, like, all I needed to do was actually protect, and I would have won, but I didn't. So, you know, like... You gotta think about this type of stuff if you're gonna be good. What am I really supposed to do besides that? I mean, like... I don't think... 
I don't think having Crunch on this Araquanid is the right move. Um, like, when are you really gonna want Crunch over, like, your other moves? I mean, Liquidation can just about one-shot a Calyrex Shadow on its own. It's, it's a roll, but it can. Wait, shoot. I get the feeling that my Calyrex is going to be slower than theirs. And also, what does my Calyrex really do if they use Wide Guard? So, I mean, Bro, body press does nothing. Like, why? Why does it do literally nothing? Oh, because I have Iron Ball. Yeah, that's not great. Um, but with that being said, this is what we do. Duh. This isn't going to knock out.
Okay. My guy. My guy. Okay, okay. Corruption Weather Ball. Yeah, yeah, it's a good set. Um, Instruct Taunt Terrain Pulse and Trick Room. Definitely interesting. Life Orb. Safety goggles. White lens. Are you wearing this? I mean, you have terrain pulse, but where's your terrain? Like, you should have probably thought about that. So, I mean, like, I get it. You can take advantage of your opponent's terrain, but like, not really the tech. So let's talk about this team. I do think that most of the, or not all of the games that I played were winnable if I made the right plays, which, you know, I said that's what you kind of got to do. Um, I don't really think that Araquinid needs crunch. It's just like, it works, but like Liquidation does more damage to anything except for a Calyrex Shadow. And against Calyrex Shadow, I mean, Liquidation can still- well, okay, you don't have Mystic Water. So, there's that. Um, I don't know if you need White Herb, honestly. A minus one Araquanid can one-shot Incineroar and Landorus. So, I mean, you can get away with running Mystic Water instead of White Herb, and also running Protect instead of Crunch, but I mean, it probably has its times. The only problem was really, like, me not protecting Lurantis when I needed to, but that Life Orb Zacian set was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie about that, like, but I, I could have played a little better against it. Um, Body Press definitely has its uses. It does not do as much damage as you would like it to sometimes, especially, like, when I was facing Zacian and stuff. I just, like, would have liked to have high horsepower, but, like, I get it, you know. It can work. Um, all over. Pretty, pretty crazy team. Um, pretty cool stuff, but I did not always make the best plays. And we, you know, suffered a little bit for that, so, okay. Um, what more is there to say about the team? I mean, Drizzle, Iron Ball is definitely nice. I did get hit by a high horsepower with the Iron Ball. And you can soak, you can use soak and then Leaf Blade to do fat damage. So you've got stuff like that. Uh, Lurantis is definitely a good Pokemon, there's no lie about that. Um, I've run a Salt Vest Grantis in the past, but, like, having Protect, you know, like, I could have won if I used Protect, right? So, um, there's that, and you gotta identify your win conditions. Um, Dazzling Gleam is, you know, good tech for being able to beat a Urshifu Dark, so it's definitely nice to have. You could use Protect or, like, Helping Hand. Um, Helping Hand Glacial Lance does a lot of damage. But having Dazzling Gleam is good tech as well. So, um, Chandelure, 
is is a is a good choice. I mean, it's a bit of a frail Pokemon, but like it can't get faked out. It can use Trick Room, like all those sorts of things. It needs to look out for Urshifu Dark, Urshifu Water, um, Landorus, and Incineroar. So it's really weak against the most commonly used Pokemon, but it has its moments, I'm sure. So, um, pretty cool team. I'll definitely say that. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll see what I do next. I think I'm going to bring back the Eveltal team, and then I'm going to be releasing five new teams for the end of the month, so we got, we got stuff to look forward to. Um, alright, peace out, y'all.